evening and welcome to D Street. Uh, the markets today have ended on a rather flattish note, despite the fact that global queues has been rather supportive. So, all in all, just ahead of the beginning of the result season, which always has a huge bearing on the markets, we are seeing some weakness on the markets. Well, it does look like a very cautious trading session, Ashu. In fact, a little bit of jitters at the cusp of the earnings season. But like Ashu said, global queues have been supportive. Back home as well, IP was once again a good number. But despite all that, the markets actually ended with a negative bias. We'll take you through all that market action, of course. Get your perspective on what we can expect from the markets and the earnings season later on in the show. So quick look at how D Street did today. After a positive start, the Nifty and the Sensex sold off in trade, ending about half a percent lower. The Sensex closed 80 points down. 17,853 is what the Sensex closed at. The Nifty also ended about 5,340, down about half a percent for the Nifty. Well, 22 points were wiped off the Nifty on that in today's session. Broader markets indicating that the BSC small cap index saw a little bit of buying activity. The only spot of green really was the small cap index that closed 0.31% higher. The mid cap space closed marginally low, while the frontline indices also sold off a little bit in today's trading session. But that's pretty much the market, the broader market picture. The volumes are below average. The breadth of the market was also tilted towards the negative. Well, sectorally, it was more or less a sea of red. But again, not the losses weren't very uh, spectacular or too much on either sides. You had the banking space closing about a percent lower. BSE Power ended 1% lower as well. You had the capital goods index that actually sold off, closing with over 1% losses, leading the losses in today's trading session. On the upside, Realty had an OK day for the eighth consecutive day, closing in three Three quarters of a percent higher. FMCG also gained in today's trading session, while consumer durables ended on a flattish note, but with a bit of a positive bias to that space. So that's pretty much what the broader market picture looked like. At a couple of counters, like the likes of Reliance Industries, that gained a couple of those banking stocks, had a pretty good day of trade in the telecom pact. You had the likes of Bharati that ticked in gains, while Alcom and Idea were the other two that actually sold off in trade. Well, that's the highlights of today's trading session. The markets ended lower despite firm global queues. Feb IP data was below street estimates, but generally speaking, it came in pretty firm for the sixth consecutive month. Decline in manufacturing activities was actually impacted stocks. Infosys ended positive ahead of the fourth quarter numbers, which will be out later tomorrow. Cap goods, auto, bank stocks were the worst hit. Realty and technology were amongst the rare gainers in today's trading session. That's pretty much what the market picture looked like fundamentally. Of course, uh, Realty continued to gain while tech took a bit of a breather. Remember, Infosys will announce its numbers early tomorrow morning. The rupee also looks a little weak so all those factors contributing positively to that upside move for the technology pack well let's now go across to shakti patra as always will take us through all the other technical action that we've been tracking for the markets shakti uh, what's the picture that is panning out 5388 i believe is the upside for the markets but it does seem like the bears are coming back with quite a bit of an impact now I think Samira for bears it's pretty easy now because you have this big resistance at 5388 so anyone who is willing to sh short this market probably knows uh, his stop loss it's around that 5388, 5400 mark. So every time you get a bounce to about 5370, 5360, they are willing to take that call of uh, shorting with the stop loss of 40, 30, 40 points and uh, that uh, seemed to be working as of now. But uh, the highlight remains that for the last three days, uh, including uh, today, Thursday, Friday and today, markets have actually had a decent enough volatile, volatile session. Uh, 70 points were uh, lost on Thursday, 60 points gain on Friday. And today, all the 22 points on the Nifty, uh, you had a pretty uh, wide range, about 70, 75 point uh, intraday range for the market. And that's not great, but uh, going by recent standards, going by recent records, uh, you have to say that it was a reasonably, vol reasonably volatile session. Uh, but uh, the real uh, trouble in the market is uh, uh, the option data is just too difficult to interpret. Uh, you have a market which uh, closed at a 7 point uh, premium on Nifty futures, uh, near on Nifty futures. Uh, so we are around that 5350 mark on Nifty futures, uh, which means that we are equidistant from 5300 put and the 5400 call. But the 5400 call actually added uh, 10 times more open interest than what the 5300 put added. And uh, the total build up at the 5400 uh, call is close to that 90 lakh uh, mark again. And in March, saw that we saw that once you cross the 1 crore mark, it just becomes very difficult to break that. Tuba.com.